How you guys doing today? I hope you guys having a good day. You're not having a good day? That's whatever. I'm here to help you with that. I wanted to talk to you guys today about what meditation has done for me. Now, a lot of people, like, I'm iffy with that word because a lot of people hear that word and like, what, what is that? I don't want to do that. That sounds like some, like, ro some, like, uh religious like monk thing that does some like old man in a temple with a bald head and a robe sitting down it's not, it's not really about that I'm just here to tell you whoever you are wherever you are in your life there's things that you can benefit that you can gain from meditation now before I ever like I'm not even before like I even started really meditating like just understanding a lot of the concepts around it really helped me realize a lot of things like i realized that when i was younger when i when i was when i was even just in high school like i could still be like somewhat older god i'm getting cold don't mind me guys Whew. gotta shoot this video anyway but i realized that even when i was like in high school i didn't really have any control over myself or what i was doing or my actions i was too busy in my head i was thinking too much i wasn't focused I wasn't even in touch with my emotions. I was really depressed because I didn't even like know I felt things. I didn't know how to feel things. I literally, like I've had other videos where I'm talked about, like you may not realize that you're not actually feeling things. You may not know how to actually go in your body. Like I say things like to, gr to like uh, help you calm down, just feel your feet, focus on the feeling of your feet. Cause you might just be going around all day, just thinking, 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 and you might not even stop and take a moment to pause and really calm down and realize what's going on now what's really beneficial what's really important about meditating or even you don't have to meditate but just realizing where you are in life calming down clearing your mind you know just like yeah <laughs> just clearing your mind of thoughts is because if you don't stop that non-stop stream of thoughts you're not really in control of your life. You're not in really in control of your life. You're just, your brain just keeps popping out thoughts, thought, 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 and you're just going along with whatever it's that thought is telling you to do. That thought could be telling you to do something really bad. And you know, that's where like impulse control comes in. And then you're, then some people, they go rob a bank or they go, you know, murder somebody just because their brain, they, they're not in control of themselves. Their brain is like, oh, I'm angry at that person. That person wronged me. I'm gonna go stab him. Like, that's kind of crazy thought. Like, if you're really in a calm state of mind, like, why would you do something like that? Like, I saw in the news earlier is like, this man was going to jail for life because he killed somebody. And like, where I am now in my life, like, if I'm in a low point in my life, I'm really angry, I'm really upset. I feel like someone ruined my life. That's one thing. But I'm in a point in my life where I'm just like, I feel like I would sit down like, why? Why did you do it? Why did you kill him? But this man isn't really in control of himself or his actions. He's just influenced by whatever comes in his mind. So that's where things like impulse control comes in. It comes in handy. But then there's also a problem too with that. If you're trying to just force yourself and you're like, I can't do this, this is bad. Well, you still have the feelings and the thought is still there and you're just trying to shove it down. That's gonna get you even more stressed out than sometimes even just doing it would have in the first place. So what I'm here to talk about, why I honestly think is essential for everybody to understand at least some of the concepts and philosophies behind meditating, really just the idea of clearing your mind of thoughts because i honestly believe you're not really in control of yourself if you don't in some way form shape of another like i'm trying to not use the word meditate but it's just really the word kind of for it there's words like zen but really just like getting out of your own head getting out of your own way getting out of your thoughts clearing your mind because as i'm trying to s explain here if you don't do that you're just a subject to whatever thought just pops in your mind the human mind attached in this world and this universe with all their outside influences we're just all day non-stop being barraged and bombarded with different ideas different influences we don't even know what we're doing most of the time we're all tired we're all scared and we're all just trying to do the easy thing and you're not i mean i feel like honestly you're not even when you start overthinking things i feel like you're not even really thinking about what you're doing anymore like i talk about this with my son he has like a lot and lots and lots of anxiety and i'm like 
I don't think you're really thinking about what you're doing. Like I see you're here thinking a lot, but you're not really thinking about what you're doing. Like this morning, he was walking all over the house in his shoes and you know, he knows we don't do that. It's not like it's a new thing for him. It's not like it's a recent rule. It's like it's been like that just like for a long time. And we always like, we go to the door, then we put our shoes on just cause we don't want that inside of the house to be dirty. And he's walking all over the house in his shoes. And I'm like, you're rushing too much. You're not thinking about what you're doing. I understand that's a really paradoxical thought is like how are you telling me that I'm thinking so much but I'm not thinking about what I'm doing but that's because your mind isn't here your mind is somewhere else your mind is la la land your mind is dreaming now I said this before the main purpose of the mind is to dream like when I first heard that it really blew me and like this the more you think about it the more you understand it but it's like you kind of are in a dream when you're thinking too much because it's like Okay, you're uh, you're running late for work one day, right? And you're in your car, you're thinking about your job, you're thinking about trying to clock in on time, you're thinking about what your boss is gonna say, you're thinking about what you're gonna say in response, you're planning out your response, you're thinking about what you're gonna do, you're trying to rush, you're on the way to get there, but it's like, you're still here. You're still sitting in your car, you're still sitting on the bus, you're still walking, this is where you are. But you're, if you're in your mind thinking about all these possible future scenarios, that's your imagination at work. Those are dreams. That's kind of the, it's like the gift and the beauty and the curse of humanity is the fact that we have an imagination. You know, it's an imagination that lets us do anything. This road's right here. Like somebody had to think, huh? Maybe we can pave these roads because they weren't paved. You have to use your imagination. This camera, somebody's like, maybe we can take pictures of things. I don't know what was their original thought to that. And then somebody was like, maybe we can eventually, we can make a camera that shoots pictures over picture after picture and it looks like a video and we record sound and we'll call it a video. Though technically this is just 30 frames per second being shot at you. So that's 30 pitches per second being shot at you with sound being put over it. And we call it a video. Whew, I'm getting cold. But the curse of imagination is that we won't realize how much of our time we spend in this daydream, this la la land of imagination where we're wherever we are we're trying to be somewhere else we're thinking about somewhere else we're we're making plans for something that we're not even actually doing right now now there's uses to that you do want to plan for the future i'm not telling you to not think at all to never plan for the future that you should never think and that your mind is just completely evil but i'm trying to explain to you if you don't learn to at least control it to some sort of extent at some point at least at any extent at all I mean, you have no real control over yourself. You're just, you're just subject to natural, instinctual impulses. Like, it's not even just in your mind, in your body. Like, you're just subject to whatever emotion comes up. And anger comes up, you're like, okay, now I'm angry. Now I'm gonna go do angry things. Now I'm angry at you, now I'm gonna yell at you. Like, you don't have any real control. And if you try to control it, it's just force. It's just force control. And force control, lots of times, is way more stressful than just letting the anger out in the first place and it's like where's the balance then what do i do do i let all my anger out do i let all my sadness out do i shove it down and not let it out what are you telling me what are you telling me to do what i'm telling you to do is to learn to just let go of everything to let go of everything that you've been holding on to this whole time now that doesn't mean just forget about everything in the sense where it's just like Oh, I'm just gonna forget about the people who's been there for me, the people who I need. I'm not gonna just forget that I need to eat. You're still gonna know these things. Your mind isn't just gonna forget. That's something you need to get comfortable with. That's something really, really important, really powerful to get comfortable with the feeling of not knowing things because your mind still knows. Like we're all so attached to our lives and our story is like, if I don't know where I went to school, I don't know where I work, I don't know who my family is, then who am I? That's not you though. That's that's not who you are. Those are like physical like uh, things in your life. Those are other people. Those are places you go. Those are things you do. But who you are has nothing to do with that. Your personality is influenced by that, but that's not truly who you are at your core. 
And what I'm trying to tap into here, what I'm trying to explain to you is to tap into who you really are and to be comfortable with the idea of not knowing. Your body, something that's really powerful that helped me with this, your body's not gonna just die. Like It's almost like our mind keeps us trapped in this like psychological loop of have to be active, have to be active, have to be active because the mind is secretly extremely afraid of death. It's always afraid it's gonna die. It's, keep, it's keeping this thought process going because it's trying to figure out the next step and the next step and the next thing you gotta do and the next thing you gotta do because it thinks if you don't do it, you're gonna die. That's because we've been raised like animals, like cavemen. We've been in life or death situations. There's times where you go back a couple hundred years, maybe even in first world, places that are first world countries today it's a lot harder to get food and medical supplies to live for a long time you go back farther than that you're, not only is it hard to get food you got and, and other people are trying to kill you you got tigers maybe trying to kill you a bear is trying to kill you you got all these things you're worrying about that are actually trying to kill you and then we come in today in our modern world in our modern society and our brain just takes any little problem like it's a life or death situation it's like if I don't figure this out I'm gonna die you go through your whole life like this even like through childhood you, your mind automatically like instinctually impulsively thinks that if you displease your parents they're gonna disown you and since they're not gonna take care of you you're gonna die because you're dependent on them and it's like you gotta learn this is why it's really important to learn how to gain regain control of yourself how to stop the endless this stream of thoughts like it almost seems like now i'm just on like an endless stream of thoughts but i'm not really trying to think out everything i'm going to say here i'm just trying to be myself i'm trying to just be expressive i'm just trying to put energy and good 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 thoughts good energy out there but i'm not trying to really overthink this if i were to overthink my videos when i overthink it's like oh uh, oh uh, uh, up, um, hey, up, uh, what do I say? What do I say? Like, if I were to overthink it, I wouldn't be able to say a single thing. I wouldn't be able to make these videos. I wouldn't be able to do anything. Right now, I'm able to go do these videos like talk, 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 and I just keep going and going through time and practice and work. But when I first started and I was more worried and I wasn't as confident in my ability to do this, I would stutter all the time. I would get stopped. I wouldn't be able to do a video this long. Like I wouldn't, I would have ready by this point. I, first of all, I would have been talking slower because I just wouldn't be able to just keep going. And then I just keep, I would keep getting paused. I'd keep getting stuck. Is that moment it, like I, I'm really good now I just almost like avoiding it or just blowing right past it that moment where I go in my mind and in my head because when I go in my mind and I go in my head that's when the video stops that's when I'm like oh I don't know what to say next oh what do, what do I say next and I'm like I'm thinking about it too much I'm filtering myself too much I'm putting too much pressure in myself but I'm not just out here expressing myself but when I learn to get out of my head, it just makes everything so much better. Life is so much better. You can actually learn to enjoy things. You don't enjoy things from just a logical standpoint because it's not like, oh, I'm eating my food that I like. I'm driving my car that I like. I have the girl that I like. You know, whatever it is that you like. I have, I got my new toy. I got my new makeup, whatever it is. And it's, that's all logical. Where's the emotional side? side to it where you actually feel what's going on inside of here See, like I was talking about earlier I grew up with a lot of depression in my early in my early teenage area and even back into like middle school potentially a lot of elementary school because I didn't even know how to feel emotions all I knew how to do is think 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 I wouldn't stop thinking I never stopped thinking like I thought you weren't supposed to stop thinking when I think I was like in my in my early 20s where it's like oh you don't have to think all the time? What? Oh. Huh. Wow. This is nice. I feel a lot more calm now. Like before that, I was just stuck in like endless thought loops and it's like I leave one I go to the other and I just thought life was just thinking that's all I did like I was like early childhood 
like in elementary school and I would just not stop thinking. Like I said too, I'd get thoughts and I'd hold on to them and I keep thinking about them over and over. And when I have a thought, like I just want to keep thinking it out. And I've only really learned this and discovered this recently. I'm no master. I'm not like the grand like learner or teacher or anything. Like I've been learning myself. I'm on this journey myself of development. And I really learned like it's just you have to really experience it to understand it and really go through it but i really learned how thoughts eckhart told describe them like they're their own entity and they want to rise up and they want to grow in you because they want to take over you they want to take over your mind and your soul and your body and your actions and the way like this kind of works like imagine like you have a you have a Let's just start with emotion. Like you have this emotion that comes up. It's angry. You're just anger. It could be whatever you want, but I'm just gonna use anger as an example. Anger's here. Uh, what are my angry thoughts? Okay, I'm angry at you for this, I guess, and I'm gonna respond to that by doing this. Like already, that emotion dictated my next thought and my next action and the same thing with thoughts i get this like angry thought then that dictates my next emotion that dictates my next action i'm not really in control we think we we really like to believe because we had a thought we had an emotion the mind's lying to us it's telling you that it's ours it's it's not ours all your emotions they're instinctual like you can i feel like there's another level to it where you just really have this really deep inner peace and joy and happiness but i'm talking about your standard emotions usually the negative ones they're survival instincts they come from your reptilian brain because you're um can't even remember the middle name brain but um the way your brain works is it sees things and it and it's impulsively and, and and as a complete impulse it puts an emotion in response to you from outside stimulus like let's say you get into a car accident and then your body just automatically throws anger at you you don't truly decide this guy hit me i want to be angry because honestly, if you were truly deciding how you feel at every single moment of your life, why not just decide, I'm happy. I feel good. Don't you want to be happy? Don't you want to feel good? Oh, but he hit me. He got in a car accident with me. So what? Deal with it. Deal with it in a calm way. You don't have to be angry about everything. We can calmly deal with things. We can be like, okay, can we exchange information? I'm going to call the cops, okay? Can you uh, give me your insurance information? Um, what's your name? Hi, are you okay? Like, like you know, like my tone of voice there, I try to, I don't know how I sound it, but I try to make it really, really neutral, just as neutral as it can be. There's no reason why you can't talk like that. There's no reason we have to be angry at everybody and everything for everything we do. There's no reason that we all can't just calm down and live in a much happier and nicer and peaceful world. But the problem is our own bodies and our own minds are lying to us. Our own thoughts and our own emotions most of the time, like I'm trying to explain, we're just instinctual impulses that just rise up into us. As I cut that one off, I thought about what I was gonna say with the brain. So you have the reptilian brain, you have the limbic brain, and you have the cerebral cortex. The reptilian brain, that's really our oldest brain. That's the first one that developed. That just gives us a lot of our instinctual impulses. And then what happened when we developed the, sem the second brain, the limbic brain, it started putting, so we haven't even gotten to our logical, rational thinking, because you guys think you're also, we all think, we all, I should say, we all think we're so logical or rational you know and we always know what we're doing but our emotions come without the logical or rational side you have your you have your reptilian brain just going around impulses and then the limbic brain on top of that is attaching an emotion to those impulses and responses that it came from the reptilian brain not from your logical brain not from your thinking brain the logical brain the thinking brain was actually developed later on top of the limbic brain so that you can control those impulses it was to actually give you the ability to not just be completely dominated by impulses that's the whole point of it the whole point of being able to think being logical being focused it's to be able to actually just imagine things just 
to be a person in the sense that we think about it is that you don't have to just be an impulse creature you don't have to just be a dog you don't have to just be running around chasing smells look chasing rats just you know i mean it's beautiful in the sense that you don't have to think you don't have to have anxiety you don't have to have depression unless you have really bad owners but the the point of it is to be able to understand okay my body just threw anger at me let's assess the situation though why am i angry should i really be angry does this emotion serve me is being angry in this situation actually helpful because if you go back the reason their body puts anger in you your whole fight and flight system is because they want you to fight it's like oh that man is gonna kill me Ah, I'm anger. I'm in rage. My stress hormones are kicking in. Adrenaline's kicking in. I have the ability to protect my family now. This all makes sense. And then when it's over and it's done, you calm down though. He's dead. We're moving on with our lives. Let's go find something to eat. We're all okay. You know, that's, that's really how it's supposed to work. You do it, you get it over with. But the problem in our society is that the stress is not some tiger or some man that's immediate danger to us that's trying to kill us all the time. It's possible, but it's not usually that. Usually it's like, I gotta pay my bills. Then I gotta pay my bills. Then I gotta pay my bills. It's never ending. It's, it just goes on forever and ever. So you're just always stressed out. You're just always living in this state of adrenaline, fight or flight. The fear response is telling you to run away from something and then there's nothing to truly run away from there's no tiger or man to run away from which is what it was developed for it's just telling us to just keep running away but you can't run away from having to pay your bills unless you're just gonna go be homeless but that's not really a good option now is it <sighs> meditate I'm gonna wrap up on this video now I'm just gonna leave you guys with that I mean cuz I could go on forever I could keep spitting ideas but like I can't just really make this video go on forever just hold you guys here just keep talking to you guys endlessly but what I will leave you with is that I do have other videos honestly I recommend if you like the ideas I spoke of here you really should check out some of my other videos because I this is what I speak about I speak about things that help me really restructure reshape change my life for the better how I um I came from a lot and lots of problems which is what helps me be able to do these videos like this hello just people going by I came from a point where I had lots of anxiety I've had lots of depression I think we all do I don't think people understand anxiety and depression for what it really is I think it's just a human condition to have anxiety depression we all have problems where we're thinking too much a week because like do you not think do you not think do you really have control over it if you wanted to right now can you just not think can you just go in a room sit down and not think for five hours out of pure choice like that sounds unrealistic honestly like how many people can really do that i can't do that i'm not at cartel i can't just sit down and not think for five hours i can practice i can meditate and that's kind of the point of it like you might try to meditate and it's like I can't do this, this is too hard. I don't know, but it's like, it's a practice. It's time and work. And at first, you're gonna you're gonna have problems in it. You're gonna run into a lot, a lot of problems. But if you just keep trying, if you just keep doing it, if you keep practicing, as Eckhart Tolle would say, consciousness just grows over time. So there's no reason why you can't just keep getting better and better. But anyway, I wanted to wrap up this video with just saying, you guys should, if you like the ideas here, you should check out some of my other videos because they're going to have a lot more ideas that you're going to like and they're just going to keep getting better and better. I hope you guys have a nice day.